Okay, just give the people what they want. Smile, be funny, be insightful, give a good review. Be funny, be charming, be relatable, but also original, but also different. Basement Aspirations. Twin Falls, Idaho is a 1999 independent movie written and starring the Polish brothers and directed by Mark Polish. It's not the most plot heavy movie in the world, but if you like your movies slow moving, moody, and mumbly, then look no further. Wait, don't click out of the video. And the basic premise of the movie is that two conjoined twins Blake and Francis, played by the Polish brothers, are living out what seems to be their last days in a seedy hotel. One of them calls upon a prostitute, played by Michelle Hicks, called Penny. She comes to their room and she's initially turned off, but when one of them gets sick, she ends up taking them both under her wing. This movie was very promising based on the trailer alone. It's very good. It's not quite great, but it is an undeniable indie sleeper hit in that you'll be asleep before the credits hit. This is one of those movies that starts out with so much style and atmosphere, it's instantly intriguing that it's hard to sustain that for the hour and 50 minute length, which is possibly too long. And if you read reviews, the general consensus seems to be that it starts to lose steam at least halfway through, if not in the last half hour. I don't know that I would completely agree with that, but I would say that there are moments with characters that really shine through and once they're gone and out of the movie you could really feel their absence and it just simply becomes a different movie. It's not a completely botched movie but it's just that the first couple of minutes of the movie are so seductive and mysterious and then you get kind of a schmaltzy payoff. Take for example a scene towards the end of the movie where the prostitute Penny brings in her doctor to look after one of the brothers and he basically gives this little monologue where he's like they are conjoined, don't you see? They live in tandem. One cannot live without the other. They can't exist without each other. For sure, one of the highlights of the movie is when Garrett Morris shows up as this sleazy guy who marries people out of his hotel room known as Jesus, because of course he's Jesus. He has so much charisma, and the two or three scenes he's in just completely jump starts the energy of the movie and keeps it moving. And the same can be said for John Grise, who plays Penny's manager and turns up for a scene or two. Most would know him as Uncle Rico from Napoleon Dynamite. And actually, John Grise and Garrett Morris uh, went on to do a movie right after this one, also directed by the Polish brothers called Jackpot, which I was originally gonna review before this one. The major problem with the movie is that it sets up these great concepts like how would you react if you encountered these two? If you were one of them, would you end up resenting your conjoined brother, especially if they develop a romantic relationship with someone and you're not included and can you still feel alone and isolated even though you're literally connected to this person? They set up all these things, but they can never really take it across the finish line, you know. Maybe because uh, they're running a three-legged race. <laughs> there are moments in specific shots that really hit hard. I'm thinking in particular of when the camera's pulling back from the brother's uh, peephole window thing in the door, and it just pulls back and conveys such a sense of isolation and imprisonment. I can forgive the somewhat flat acting and directing since this is their first feature. I feel like I'm a coach apologizing for their team who blew the second half. Well, we came out strong in the first half with our quiet reservedness and our established sense of authenticity and unspoken intrigue. But in the second half, we started throwing in cameos, all of which worked, but our self of purpose and ambition started to get a little lost in the shuffle. For our next venture, Jackpot, we're just gonna focus on winning and play this one film at a time. Having said all that, I think this movie is definitely worth checking out. As I said, it's hard to track down, but it's definitely, well, it's not that hard to track down. It's on YouTube. Legally, it's hard to track down. This movie definitely left me thinking about it even days later, so that's almost always a good sign. I like all the dingy motel stuff, which is where most of the movie takes place, actually. It feels very lived-in, realistic, but there's still this, like, tinge of surreal atmosphere to everything. I'll leave a YouTube link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. I think I might end up buying a DVD copy of this and Jackpot, if not on VHS, just because I'd like to live extravagantly and hopelessly in the past. Stay sexy.